Hi everybody, I'm Pam Hastings, sewing specialist for Simplicity Pattern Company. And today we're going to talk about v-necks, particularly sewing a neck band into a v-neck. When you're going to do something like this, your pattern's going to have a few different pieces for the neckline. You're going to have two neck bands, a right neck band and a left neck band. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to prepare those by sewing them with the wrong sides together and just doing um, a stay stitch at 5 eighths of an inch. Then those neck band pieces are going to be placed one on top of the other and they're going to cross over at the end. And you're going to match them up so that the bottom point is even and the raw edges are even. And then you're just going to once again do some stay stitching at 5 eighths of an inch here and here. And it's very important that you do the stay stitching at 5 eighths of an inch because that's going to give you the exact point where you're going to turn your fabric to create the V. On your garment front piece, you're going to do the stay stitching as well. 5 eighths of an inch in from the edge, pivot when you get to the V, the deepest part of the V, and come back up the other side. And then what you need to do is take a scissor and clip right down to the point of the V, but not through it. And this is so you can straighten the fabric out when you're going to sew your neckline in. And notice how when I straighten it out, this piece of fabric comes up. It's very important to remember that your fabric is not going to be flat when you're sewing in the neckline. It is going to be raised up a little bit, okay? Once you've prepared your pieces, you're going to put them right sides together. And this is where it gets a little um, confusing or uh, just a little bit different than what you're used to. In order for this neckline to fit in like this and sew it right sides together, you're actually going to start with your V's going in opposite directions. I'm going to match up my two points here, the point of the V and where those the stay stitching crosses. Just going to put a pin in there to hold that. And then I'm going to open up my fabric and put one side of the neckline in place. You want to match your notches, okay, and both the neckline and the neck band are cut on the bias, so you can kind of stretch them to fit properly in place. And then again, you see I'm matching the edge, those two points. In that in place. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other neck edge. So you can see there's going to be a bit of a gap here as I pin up oops, the other neck edge. Here I have one already pinned in place. Okay. And you can see how that's pinned. And then we've already stitched one side. So when you're sewing, what you're going to do is stitch down the neck edge. And when you get to the point, you're going to stop sewing right where that fabric is split apart. I'm going to stop sewing right at that point. Then I'm going to flip my fabric over. And I'm going to stitch along this side too. I'm going to stitch all the way down. And again, I'm just going to stitch right to that point. When you're finished, you're going to press the neck band towards the shirt. And then this is what your finished neck band will look like. And that's all there is to it.